I can see the results like feed through Twitter, usually through like Kiro. Yeah. Uh, but no stream, which is fine. Oh, I mean, stream either, but. Low and Caesar went back and forth, and uh, it was just, it was incredible. Yeah, Low, Low is amazing. He's, he's here, he's guaranteed fifth. Playing against Mark Sanchez, got a real opportunity to, to get a really big win here. Yeah, this would really. Ooh, great, great edge guard immediately from Bark. Yeah, Bark knows exactly what to do when he gets that forward throw in that situation. DI low. from Bark, he's gonna survive. That's it, that into the stage DI is good for Pikachu because there's low risk there. You know you're gonna survive, you have another chance at it. And you have a chance of having them screw up the combo. Definitely at a lower level than this. And even sometimes at this level, you just make a simple error. It's hard to follow that DI sometimes. You could miss the up B and die. Yeah. You just, you have to DI in that scenario. Uh, and Boom did a good job of that. Low, of, trying to. Oh, interesting. Wow, wow. And Low, yeah, looking and, to take that stock and he's gonna pay for trying to overextend there. And Bark does exactly what uh, he really loves to do against Falcon. Oh, oh that my down goodness, air. that is a dead rat. But Bark will chase Falcons out there so far and force you to only have the option to grab the ledge and then he'll edge hog. Right, it's it's the, uh, he did it a little too late there. Yeah. You gotta do it a bit earlier if you're gonna get that reverse hitbox. Oh, new down there? Interesting. interesting to go for in that Nair. Interesting Nair, yeah. Nair in this matchup, not as good as it is in some other matchups. Just doesn't, sending peak of far doesn't help all that much unless right. it's really high percent. Yeah, Kiro, oh. he's he's a big babysitter for sure. Uh, you go out there, you you just have your presence above them as they're trying to recover, make it really challenging to choose the option you want to choose, especially with a limited recovery like Falcons. Oh, you're right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, and he kind of did that again. You see, we saw him kind of come off the stage with the up air, uh -huh. uh, and then just re-grab to edge hog. And sometimes you you don't even need to throw out a hitbox. You ju yeah. You're just there, and that's enough. And Bark's still going to be uh, alive here, so... Low is, uh, despite Bark playing this really well, Low is still in this. If you can get one more conversion into a kill, it's last stock scenario in this matchup, and we've, as we've seen, just, he waited. Yeah, as we've seen, it is so volatile that that could be, oh, and Ooh. there's there's a nice little sneak in with that short yeah. hop there. Oh, That's beautiful stop. B. Yeah. Low. So the crowd start, crowd behind low here. I think everyone's really excited to see low out here in top eight. He played well at Let's Go, but didn't make top eight or anything. So. And Bark did oh, it wow. again, forces him into a bad position, but Lowe survives. Oh, place. oh the pivot grab. Oh, oh, no. He doesn't get a jump. He didn't want to up tilt there. He wanted to jump up air. Oh, Ooh, and he gets up right into that. Yeah, and that's going to be it. Oh, Lowe had an opportunity for that game. That tech in place was crucial. He, yeah. really, he really shook up what Bark thought he was going to do, which was tech away. Right, right, and then he dashed, dash then, dance, grab. He clearly had a tech error on platform, threw out an up tilt, you saw a shield flash. Yeah. Uh, I hate to see that. I hope Blow doesn't get down on himself for that and he can come back in these games. We had a long best of five to go. So I, I, I always hope that the players aren't like really dejected on themselves right. when they have a tech error like that. I just want to see good games, man. I think Lowe's the kind of character who will not, he, he's a character, player, rather yeah. player, who will not, he won't get he's dejected. Gonna he's going to come back and stronger. I mean, we saw him play Sheer Madness, and he was down, Reverse decisively baby. down, yeah, he was down 0-2, uh, and came back very strong to win the set. Uh, he was down three stocks to Combo Blaze, and he just edge guarded him like three times in a row to wow. win game three. Uh, Bark with a, uh, an early first stock, We'll see very few openings oh. in these games. Wow. You see both. Oh, and Bark is just one of the best oh, at grabbing Falcons. That. Wow. Most Pikachus get grabbed, and Bark, uh, Bark he's, often he's will reverse his that. Enough, right? like, yeah. I, I know people always say that about Bark, but it really is true. Like the years that he consistently plays against Dark gives him a lot of experience. I just like those little things. The nuance of the yeah. Falcon matchup. Yeah, I completely agree. 
the, the micro of it all. Wow. I don't know what move Lo was about to throw out, but he definitely got an extended hurt box to grab. Babysitting. Babysitting, Babysitting. Lo offset. Yeah. <laughs> Just making sure they're doing what you want them to do. And right, yeah. Not a really hands off approach, if you will. Um, oh. Let's see. He's going to be able to get an edge guard here. Oh, oh, and that back air looks like it connected. I thought that fist was like right inside of Pika. Yeah. Pixels overlapping, maybe. <laughs> Low just waiting. He's got to be very patient now. Yeah, and he was really commanding that space very well, and Bark was able to sneak underneath. That'll nice. be a stock. Gets the unfortunate attack from Bark. Uh, oh, wow. Great fast fall. He avoided that. Oh. Oh, oh, that's still, uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's that Add situation, that percent, yeah, yeah we, you know, people have talked about that time and time again, but getting the, the Doug hug, so to speak, on a low percentage Pikachu isn't always in your favor. Right, and that, that's actually true of several characters, uh, yeah. especially at low percents, Samus can bounce off and get a down air, back air, like... A lot of characters, Kirby can just down air. Uh, it's not always about, I mean, not that the Falcon is going for that. They're just trying to recover, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, oh, and interesting. Lo switch, switch to Pika. I don't like this. I think Lo should stick well, with his character and battle it out. But right now he's looking pretty uh, good. I, I'm seeing some not great facial expressions from Lo. I hope that's just his face and not... Uh, <laughs> Not him being upset. Let's see, well, I know he's pretty good at this matchup too. Um, yeah, no, he, no slouch. He's he's been talking a lot. Very interesting player to follow on Twitter if you're into Smash Twitter at all. He talks a lot about things he's improving on, really like micro situations. Right. He's talked a lot about he's getting used to comboing Pika's Pika, but like he's been struggling with the edge guard. And, uh, and I wonder if his neutral is going to be on par with, with Barks, you know, it's a player yeah, who always well, does it. A player who just went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Dex. Yeah, um, exactly. Ooh, good DI from Low to get away from that. I mean, Low, low up right now. and Hasn't right. landed anything on this stock yet, though. Here we go. Bark jumps away. Bark, if he would have tried to attack, he would have nice fallen right into that up tilt. Here we go. Bark's right back in this now. And he, you know, even if Lowe is able to take a game, Bark has time to adjust here now, being up 2-0 if Lowe decides to stick with Pikachu. Uh, yeah. Oh, it was a good follow-up for Lowe. Hmm, a runoff in air, maybe the wind. Oh, uh -oh. opportunity for Lowe. And why is it low to just go with that back air? Say, right, oh. nothing too crazy. Another back air, and that will not seal it because it's stale. Good down tilt from low. Resets yep. the staleness on his back air for this next stock. Yeah, looking really good. Again, in a Barks, against a Bark Sanchez that really did everything to go toe to toe with Dexter. Right. Including taking a game. Low, really good timing on that up tilt one. Bark was trying to sweet spot the ledge. Weird back air, weak reverse back air. Ooh, nice edge cancel, swim bark. Uh, and that up air, bark really favoring. Oh, uh, yeah. Single zip will not let Low get out of there. Yeah, He's that now even landing stocks lag. Now. Bark, Bark's finally brought it back after losing that first stock. Low tried that up smash, Ooh. and I think at 0%, uh, it a forward throw to up smash works on Pika if if Pika's going to land just off the stage. Right. Kind of pull them from. Not, yeah. yeah, he's going to get a tech if it's on stage. And then, you know, of course you can tech read with an up smash, and then that can lead into a zero to death combo. But. Oh, Ooh. nice up air. Yeah, great up air to, to beat out down air. Yeah. Very few moves beat out Pika's down air straight up. Pika up air, definitely one of those moves. And the heads up decision from low to use a back air when Bark Ooh. landed on that side plat. 
If he uses an up air, which was the quickest move to stab with, he wouldn't have gotten that stock. Oh, Ooh, great nair from Bark. And now his last stock low on his tournament stock here. He's got to have a good stock if he wants to continue to play. Uh, uh -oh. Ooh, good up smash. But I don't know if he's in a Back spot. Oh, yeah, and Bark is able to do a lot with Huge that. Huge combo. Ooh. Low could get one of his own, so this is far from over right now, but a really good start for Bark on this last stock to try and move on. Something you'll notice Bark do a forward. lot is he will stand, he'll stay on the edge and he'll start up tilting because he's trying to bait you into going there, or going to the top platform, rather, because he wants you to think that he's... Oh! oh. And that is going to do it. it. Yeah, so uh, 